Welcome to Learn Yourself. Try this sum, page number 140, question number 1. In figure 7.14, lengths of sides of triangles are indicated. By applying SSS congruence rule, state which pair of triangles are congruent. In case of congruent triangles, write result in symbolic form. So, in previous examples, what we were doing is we were just proving the congruency and we were writing the congruence criteria. Here they have already given us the congruence criteria. As per that, we have to find out the congruency. So SSS suggests the side, side, sides. We have to check here that three congruent sides are there or not in this first numerical. So let us start with AB. So AB line segments is equal to PQ as they both have the length of 1.5 centimeter. Then BC is equals to QR as they both are having the length of 2.5 centimeter. Then AC is equals to PR as they both have 2.2 centimeter length. Now as per this, we can write that triangle ABC is congruent with triangle PQR as per SSS criteria. Second numerical. In this also we have to prove SSS congruence criteria as per the given detail. So here we are writing that in given triangles, let us check that what all sides are equal. So first I am taking DE side. So 3.2 centimeter is equals to MN side. So DE is equals to MN. They both are 3.2 centimeter. Now second, EF side is equals to ML side as they both are equal to 3 centimeter. Then the last one, DF side, which is equal to LN side. They both are equal to 3.5 centimeter. Now, to write the congruency between two triangles, the angle should be equal. Now, before that, we have to find out the correct name for second triangle because they are not exactly in corresponding with each other. 3.2 centimeter is here and 3.2 centimeter is here. Now, from the side, how can we write the correct name? So, first we are writing the triangle name as per anti-clockwise manner DEF. Now we have to write the congruency for second triangle. So here DE side, DE side's measure is 3.2 centimeter and EF side measure is 3 centimeter. So we have to write the correct side similarly for the second triangle. So which side is 3.2? Here MN side is 3.2. MN side is 3.2 and here 3 centimeter. EF is 3 centimeter. So which is 3 centimeter? ML is 3 centimeter. ML. Now as you can see here, M is common for both the triangle. So M will come in the middle. As the E is coming into the middle, DE and EF, the similarly M will come into the middle and N will come at the first. So N the common vertices will come into the middle. So that is M and the last one is L. Now let us one more time we check that NM. What is the measure of NM? NM is 3.2. Yes. And ML. ML's measure is 3. So yes, this is the correct name for this congruency. The DEF triangle is in congruence with and ML. That is how we are going to write name from the side. From the angle it is very easy but from the side it is little tricky. You can follow this pattern and you can write it. Now here the criteria we are following is as per SSS criteria. Now here we can also write D is congruent with N, E is congruent with M, and F is congruent with L. Third numerical, we are proving SSS congruence rule. So in given triangles, now as per the figure, we can see that BC is 4 centimeter and PQ is 4 centimeter. 
then ac is 5 cm and pr is 5 cm but these two sides are not equal so this triangles are not congruent with each other but that we have to write step wise so let us write in given triangle bc is equals to pq as they both are 4 cm then the next one is ac is equals to pr as they both are 5 cm but ab is not equal to qr as they both are having different measures so that's why this both triangles are not congruent here we are proving sss congruence rule for fourth numerical so in given triangles ab is equals to ac as they both are having 3.5 centimeter measure then bd is equals to dc as they both are of 2.5 centimeter and ad's measure they have not given but ad is the common arm in between both the triangle so ad is equals to ad as it is common arm so here three sides are equal and that's why these two triangles are congruent with each other. So triangle ABD is in congruence with triangle ADC as per SSS criteria. In figure 7.15, AB equals to AC and D is a midpoint of BC. Now they have said that AB is equals to AC and D is midpoint of BC. So we have to answer three questions. The first question we are taking here is state three pairs of equal parts in triangle ADB. ADB is this triangle and the other triangle is ADC. So in this two triangle we have to locate the equal part. So in triangle B and in triangle ADC what all equal parts are there? AB is equals to AC. Why? Because it is already given in the question. Then second, that BD will be equal to DC as the D is midpoint. Why is it so? Because we know that BC equals to BD plus DC and BD equals to DC because D is a midpoint. Now AD is equals to AD. Because AD is a common arm. This is a common arm between these two triangles. So it is a common arm. So here as per SSS criteria, these two triangles are congruent with each other. Second question is, now why these two are in congruence with each other? Because as per SSS criteria, these two triangles are in congruence with each other. And what you will write for SSS criteria, the same reason that these three sides are equal to each other. Now we are taking third question that is angle B is equals to angle C, yes or no and why. So here angle B and angle C, this we are proving with the help of whatever we have proved earlier that we know that triangle ADB is in congruence with triangle ADC that we have already proved in second question. So as per this, we can write that angle B is equals to angle C because they both are corresponding angle into this. What will be the reason for this? Because they are corresponding angles. Figure 7.16, AC is B is equals to BD and AD is equals to BC as shown into the figure these two sides are equal which of the following statement is meaningfully written so let us check the first statement let us check the first statement that triangle ABC is in congruence with triangle A B and D so AB side is equals to AB side yes that is correct because they both are common here, this side we are talking about. So, AB is equals to AB. Now, second side we are taking that is BC is equal to BD. So, BC is equal to BD. Let us check into the figure. 
So BC we are talking about this BC and the BD is this. So these two sides, this side and this side are not equal to each other. So these two are not equal. As per the congruency, this has to be equal, but it is not equal. Now let us check the third congruency. And as per the name, this congruency is AC is equal to AD. So AC, AD. Now let us check into the figure. So AC is this side and AD is this side. So these two sides are not equal again. So this statement is not meaningful as it is not pro proving the complete congruency. Now let us check the second statement. That triangle ABC is in congruence with triangle BAD. So as per the name, let us find out that whether they are congruent with each other or not. So first, AB is equal to BA. Yes, they both are common side AB and BA. So yes, they both are equal. Then second, BC and AD. So BC is equal to AD. Let us check into the figure. So BC is this and AD is this. Yes, it is already given into the question that they both are equal. Now the third congruency is AC is equal to BD. BD. Let us check into the figure. So AC is equals to BD. Yes, it is also given into the question that AC equals to BD. So it is given. So yes, all the three criterias are fulfilled here. So this statement is meaningful. Page number 143, question number 1. Which angle is included between the side DE and EF of triangle DEF? So this is our triangle D, E and F. The best way to solve the example based on this triangles and geometry is always draw a rough triangle. Confirm the side, angle and the property of a triangle and then write an answer. DE and EF. So let us look at that side. We are talking about this side, DE and EF. So which angle is included between these two sides? So the angle is E. Question number two. By applying SAS congruence rule, you want to establish the congruency between triangle PQR and triangle FED. So these are our triangle, triangle P, Q, R and another triangle is F, E and D. It is given that P, Q equals to F, E. So P, Q side is equals to F, E and R, P is equal to D, F. So R, P is equals to D, F. What additional information is needed to establish the congruence? Now, which congruence we have to establish here? SAS. That means we required side, angle and side. These three parts has to be equal in these two triangles. Then only we can establish this congruence. We have two sides here. We already have two sides as per the question. We have to find out one angle. Now this angle has to be sandwiched between these two sides. So if this two side is there, then which angle is in between these two sides? Not this and not this. This angle is in between these two sides. So when we will say angle P and angle F, they both are equal to each other, then by SAS side angle side congruence this two triangle will be congruent to each other question number three figure 7.24 measures of some parts of triangles are indicated by applying sas congruence rule state the pair of congruent triangles if any in each case in case of congruent triangles write them in symbolic form so we have to first check that whether these two triangles are following SAS congruence or not. What is SAS? SAS is side angle side. So two side and one angle has to be congruent in between these two triangles. So let us write that in triangle ABC and triangle DEF. Now we can locate here that AB and DE. 
they both are equal and they both are of 2.5 centimeter so ab is equal to de equal to 2.5 centimeter so we got here one side another side is ac and df so ac is equals to df they both are equal to 2.8 centimeter they both are equal now we need one more angle and that is angle a and angle d but their both measures are different so angle a is not equal to angle d and that's why sa as congruence is not established here second numerical triangle abc and triangle rpq we have to establish sa as congruence in this two triangles so let us check so here we are writing in above triangles here we are not writing name because we can see here they are not the sides and angles are not exactly corresponding to each other the, so name of the second triangle will vary it will not be rpq so that we will discuss later when we are writing the name let us first establish the congruence so here we can see that ac is equals to rp so ac is equals to rp and they both are equal to 2.5 cm the next is bc is equal to pq so bc is equal to pq and they both are equal to 3 cm now we required angles which are equal to each other so angle c and angle p so angle c is equals to angle p and they both are 35 degree so here this both triangles are congruent as per the sas criteria now how we are going to write the name so triangle a c and b and first i am taking the side which has a measure of 2.5 cm so ac is corresponding to which side here it is corresponding to rp so i am going to write here rp now cb the next side is cb so cb is corresponding to pq so p is already here so i am going to write here q so rpq will be the name of our triangle so is in congruence with triangle r p and q now let us check whether our name is correct or not here angle c is there it is corresponding to p so yes our name is correct you can write answer here that as per sas criteria this both triangle are congruent third numerical so triangle def is here and triangle pqr is here we have to establish sas criteria and we have to see that whether this two triangle are congruent or not in above triangles let us check this two sides are equal so df is equals to pq and they both are equal to 3.5 cm the ef is equals to qr ef is equals to qr and they both are equal to 3 cm we required one more angle here so that we have here that angle f is equals to angle q and they both are of 40 degree now how we are going to write name so triangle d f e so df has a 3.5 cm and it is corresponding to pq so let us write here first pq because df is equals to pq now f is corresponding to q so yes wherever the f is there q is there so our name is correct and which alphabet is remaining now r is remaining so we are going to write r here so this is our correct name for the congruency that def is congruent to pq so now we can write that as per the sas criteria this both triangle are congruent fourth numerical we have to established here sas congruence in two triangle that first triangle is this and the second triangle is this triangle pqr and triangle psr so 
let us check what all sides are equal and angles are equal first we can locate that pq and sr they both are equal so in about triangles pq is equals to sr and it will be equal to 3.5 cm now as we can see this arm is common in between this two triangles so we can write that pr is equals to pr because it is common in between two triangle now we required one angle we got two side so this is our angle that angle p is equals to angle r and they both are equal to 30 degree now we got here side side and angle now in between two side that this side and this side this angle is there and in between this side and this side this angle is there so sas criteria is established here this both triangle are congruent with each other now how to write the name and how to establish the congruency so these are the two triangle as per given above now this angle p is in congruence with angle r of this triangle now here it will be little tricky because pr pr is common in this two triangle only q and s are different so first triangle we are writing name like r p q in this manner so first we are writing r p q for this triangle it is in congruence with now this p from the first triangle is in congruence with this r so wherever the p is there r has to come and wherever the r is there p has to come and wherever the q is there s has to come so that is how we have written the name because as it suggests the figure this p is in congruence with r and this is little tricky because pr pr is common in both of this triangle so that is how we have written the name that rpq is in congruence with prs because here we have to check the angles that here this p is in congruence with r so our answer is as per sas triangle rpq is in congruence with triangle prs four in figure 7.25 ab and cd bisect each other at o bisect means it is intersecting both at equal distance so each other at o this is a point point of intersection state the three pairs of equal parts in two triangles aoc and bod these two triangles we have to check the equal parts so first questions answer we are writing here that in triangle aoc and in triangle bod let us check what all parts are equal here so as per the given into the figure that co is equals to od so co equals to od and it is given into the figure now next is ao is equals to ob so ao is equals to ob and this is also given into the figure now we need one angle to establish this criteria that side side and angle so we can take this angle because this angle o is common for both of this triangle so angle o is equals to angle o obviously because this is common for both the triangle now as per sas this both triangle are in congruence with each other but we have answered the first question that three equal parts are side side and angle now our second question that which of the following statements are true so let us check the first statement that triangle aoc is in congruence with triangle dob let us check that whether this side ao is corresponding to do or not so ao is corresponding to do so no it is not because he, this side and this side they are not equal 
and OC is OB. OC is this side and OB is this side. So these two sides are also not equal. So this statement is not true. So we can write here above statement is not true. Now the second triangle AOC is congruent to BOD. Let us check the side AO is congruent to BO. So AO is here and BO is here. So yes, they both are in complete congruence with each other. Now let us check the next side that is OC and OD. So OC is this and OD is this. Yes, they both are equal to each other. So this statement is true. So the reason if you want to mention, you can mention it like this, that AO is equals to OB and OC is equals to OD as per the figure. That's, that's why the above congruency is correct. Try these sums from page number 145. Question number 1. What is the side included between angles M and N of triangle M and P? So this is our triangle M, N and P. Now side included between the angles M and N. So this is our angle M and this is angle N. So side included between these two angle is this and this side is MN. So answer is MN. Question number two. You want to establish triangle DEF is congruent to M and P. So this is our triangle D, E and F and another triangle is M and P. Using A as A congruence rule. Now ASA is angle side angle where two angles will be there and side will be included between two angles. So side will be sandwiched in between two angles. You are given that angle D equals to angle M. So angle D and angle M are equal. Angle F and angle P are equal. So angle F and angle P are equal. What information is needed to establish the congruence as per ASA? draw a rough figure and then try it. So we have drew here two triangles. Now we know that we required one side so that this criteria will work and this side has to be in between these two angles. So it has to be this side which is included between these two angles. So DF and MP has to be equal to establish this criteria. So once these two sides are equal to each other, we can establish the congruence between these two triangles as per ASA criteria. Question number three. In figure 7.27, measures of some parts are indicated by applying ASA congruence rule. State which pairs of triangles are congruent. In case of congruence, write the result in symbolic form. So now let us first see that what all parts are equal in this two triangle. So in triangle ABC and triangle DEF, we can see here that this side and this side are equal. So AB equals to EF. They both are equal to 3.5 centimeter. Now comes angle. So angle A is 40 degree and angle F is 40 degree. They both are equal. Then comes angle B and angle E. So angle B and angle E are equal. They both are equal to 60 degree. So now we have here two angles and one side. We have to see that this side is in between two angles or not. So yes, these two angles are there. This side is included between these two angles. Let us check in this that these two angles are there and the side is included between these two angles. So yes, as per SAS criteria, we can establish the congruence. So
so triangle a b c is congruent to triangle now we have to write the correct name which will exactly congruent to another triangle so angle a is congruent to angle f here so we are going to write here f first then angle b is congruent to angle e so we are going to write here e and whatever letter is left that we are going to write here so a b c is congruent to f e d now let us check for the side so a b side is equal to e f so yes that side has been included over here also so these two triangles are in congruence second numerical as per angle side angle we have to check that is this two triangle are congruent with each other or not so let us write that in triangle pqr and triangle def let us check what all parts are equal so pr is 3.3 whereas ef is 3.5 so first pr is not equal to ef so side is not equal now let us check the angle angle d is equals to angle q they both are 90 degree so we got one angle another angle is angle r is equal to angle e they both are 50 degree but we don't have any side here which is equal so these two triangles are not congruent with each other third numerical in this two triangle we have to see that angle side angle criteria is working or not and this two triangle are congruent with each other or not so in triangle rpq and triangle mln so rq is equal to ln rq is equal to ln and they both are equal to 6 cm now let us check the angles that angle r and angle l they both are 60 degree and they both are equal now comes angle q and angle n they both are equal and they both are equal to 30 degree now side angle side criteria is working here and this two triangles are congruent with each other so let us write the name that triangle r QP is in congruence with now let us check here that R is equal to L so first we are going to write L Q is equal to N so we are writing N and the last left alphabet is M so that we are writing here now let us check the side RQ is equal to LN so RQ is here is equal to ln so yes our name is correct and triangle RQP is in congruence with ln m as per angle side angle criteria fourth numerical in this we got two triangles like this that first is this triangle that triangle ACB and another triangle is angle dab so triangle dab now we have to check here that angle side angle criteria we can establish between these two triangle or not so let us take first angle if we are considering this full angle angle a and angle b then in this the full angle is 45 plus 30 degree and in this also angle b is 45 plus 30 degree so this both angle are of 75 degree so here if i will write angle a equals to angle b they both are equals to 75 degree we got one angle here now in both of this triangle ab line segment is common ab is common here in both of this so i can write ab is equal to ab because it is common in both the triangle it is common side in both the triangle now we need one more angle here we are taking cab that is 30 degree so first angle is angle cab and another angle we are taking is angle dba 
This angle is also 30 degree. D B A. So another angle is angle D B A. And this both are equal to 30 degree. So if we will see now, we have two angle and one side. So as per angle side angle, this both triangle are congruent with each other. So our answer will be angle A D B is congruent with B C A. Now let us check our congruency is correct or not. So A is congruent with B. Yes, it is correct. And again, this A is congruent with B. Yes, our congruency is correct. Here AB is common for both of this triangle. So AB, AB will be, will get repeated in this congruency. And in between D and C will come. So yes, as per angle side angle criteria, these both triangles are congruent. Question number four, given below the measurement of some parts of two triangles, examine whether the two triangles are congruent or not and we have to establish angle side angle congruence rule. So let us take the first one. Our triangle is DEF and another triangle is triangle PQR. Now let us check D is 60 degree. Then angle Q is 60 degree. Then angle F is 80 degree and angle R is 80 degree. Now which side is equal? DF is 5 centimeter and QR is 5 centimeter. So yes, angle side angle criteria we can write here and this both triangle are in congruence with each other. So how to write the name? First triangle we are writing DEF is in congruence with. Now D is in congruence with Q because D and Q both are 60 degree. D is in congruence with Q. Now E we do not know but F is in congruence with R. They both are 80 degree. So first we are writing Q, last we are writing R and remaining letter that is P that we are writing into the middle. So DEF is in congruence with QPR. Now let us check as per the line segment that DF has to be equal to QR. So D and F they both are at two extremes. So Q and R they both are at Two extreme. So our congruency is correct here. Our second numerical first triangle is DEF and second triangle is PQR. So D is 60 degree then F is 80 degree and DF is 6 centimeter. This is 6 centimeter. Now let us check for the PQR that Q is 60 degree R is 80 degree and QP is 6 centimeter. So here as we can see for triangle PQR side is not included between two angles. So we cannot establish angle side angle criteria for this two triangle. Side has to be in between two angles. It has to be sandwiched between two angles. But that is not the case for PQR. So, these two are not congruent with each other. Third numerical, let us write the name DEF and PQR. So, E is 80 degree, F is 30 degree and EF is 5 centimeter. For PQR, P is 80 degree, PQ is 5 centimeter and R is again 30 degree. So here also as we can see this PQ side is not included between two angles. So these two triangles are not congruent with each other. So triangle DEF is not congruent with 
ट्राइंगल पी क्यू आर फिफ्थ न्यूमरिकल इज रे ए जेड बाइसेक डी ए बी एज वेल एज डी सी बी सो हियर वी आर गेटिंग टू ट्राइंगल्स लाइक दिस एंड लाइक दिस दैट टू ट्राइंगल्स आर देर एंड रिस्पेक्टिव एंगल्स आर इक्वल नाउ वी हैव टू आंसर द फोर क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज स्टेट थ्री इक्वल पेयर ऑफ इक्वल पार्ट इन ट्राइंगल बी ए सी एंड डी ए सी सो इन ट्राइंगल बी ए सी and in triangle dac equal parts are first of all we can write ac because that is common side for both the triangle then we are writing one angle that dac this angle is equal and another angle is bac this angle this two angles are equal so we are writing angle dac is equal to angle bac and what is the reason that here az is bisecting this two triangle so dab is here and another one is dcb dcb is here this two are completely bisected by this az so that's why this angle and this angle are equal what we have mentioned here now we required one more angle and that is angle c so how we are going to write it so same way we are going to mention this and this angle that b c a is equal and b c a is equal and the reason is a z is bisecting it so angle b c a and is equal to angle b c a reason is a z bisects them so here we have two angles and one side now this side is included between these two angles so angle side angle criteria has been established here so these two triangles are congruent and here we have answered the first question that this three are the equal parts between these two triangles now second question is triangle bac is congruent to dac so is triangle bac is congruent to dac this two triangle are congruent with each other or not then yes triangle bac is congruent with triangle dac as per the angle side angle criteria which we have written it over here now third question that is ab equals to ad or not so where is the ab this is a ab and this is a ad these two sides are equal or not so yes these two sides are equal because these two triangles are congruent with each other and because of this congruence the corresponding parts are equal that's why ab equals to ad now fourth question is cd equals to cb so cb is this and cd is this so this two sides are equal or not so yes this both triangle are congruent so this two sides are also equal so as per the sas rule these two triangles are congruent so corresponding parts are equal try these sums from page number 148 question number 1 in figure 7.32 measures of some parts of triangles are given by applying rhs congruence rule state which pairs of triangles are congruent in case of congruent triangles write the result in symbolic form now first of all rhs congruence is right angle so two triangle must have right angle common in between them then h h stands for hypotenuse and s is from the two other sides other than hypotenuse one side should be equal in both of this triangle so one of the side from the other two side so right angle hypotenuse and side that is rhs congruence now let us check in this two triangle so in triangle pqr and dfe 
we can see that 3 cm and here DE is 2.5 cm. So, PQ is not equal to DE. Now, other side that is hypotenuse is equal. So, PR is equals to DF equals to 6 cm. And angle Q is equal to angle E and they both are right angle 90 degree. But here this side is not equal. So, these two triangles are not congruent as per RHS criteria. Second numerical. Here we can see there are two triangles. First triangle is ADB and second triangle is ACB. So here AC is 2 cm and db is 2 cm so these two sides are equal so here we are writing triangle acb so we are talking about this triangle and another triangle is this that adb so two sides are equal so let us write that that ac is equal to db and they both are equal to 2 cm now two angles angle c and angle d is also equal angle c angle d is equal to 90 degree right angle. Now here AB is common in both of this triangle. So we can write AB equals to AB. So you can write 3.5 or we can write common side in both the triangle. Now let us check as per RHS criteria. Did we got all these things or not? So AC and DB. If we will see here AC and DB. So this is a one side in RHS. This is a right angle and AB and AB. This AB, if you will see here, this AB, this is a right angle. This is also a right angle. So opposite side to the right angle will be hypotenuse. So AB is hypotenuse in both of this triangle. So here we got our hypotenuse. So as per R, H and S criteria, this both triangles are congruent. To write the names here in this two triangle we will see then we are going to write ADB. So ADB triangle is congruent with. Now here we are taking BCA. So here we are taking BCA. So let us check that D is congruent with C. Yes. And CA is equal to DB. So DB is here and CA is here. So yes, they both, this both triangle are congruent to each other and we have written the congruency correctly. Third numerical. In this two triangle, we have to see that whether they are following RHS criteria or not. So in triangle CBA and triangle CDA. So AC, AC will be common arm in between this two triangle. Common side. Then angle B is equal to angle D as they both are right angle. And AD is equals to AB as they both measure is 3.6 centimeter. So one of the side is equal. The hypotenuse is equal because it is opposite to 90 degree right angle. So this hypotenuse is equal and the right angle itself is equal in both of this triangle. So these two triangles are congruent as per RHS criteria. Now how are we going to write the congruency? So CBA is congruent to so here this CBA we have written this triangle. So we are going to write another triangle that is CDA. Now let us check as per this congruency it is correct or not. B is and D. They both are equal. Yes they have come into the middle. Now AC AC. They are at the side. AC AC and AD and AB. They both are equal. AB is here and AD is here. Yes. So these two triangles are in congruency with each other.
fourth numerical in this two triangle. So triangle PQS and triangle PRS. Let us check. So PQ and PR. They both are equal to each other as they are 3 cm. Now angle S is common and it is 90 degree for both the triangle. And one more side that is PS. So PS is common for both of this triangle. So it is equal for both of the triangle. So now right angles opposite side. This 3 cm will become our hypotenuse. One of the other side is also equal and 90 degree right angle is also equal. So RHS criteria has been established here. This both triangle are in congruence with each other. So let us write the congruency. Triangle PQS is in congruence with. Now S is equal to S and PS is equal to PS. So here we are going to write P R S because R and Q. These two are different in triangle. Otherwise P S is common in both of the triangle. So P Q S is in congruence with P R S. Question number 2. It is to be established by RHS congruence rule that ABC is in congruence with RPQ. So here our triangle is ABC and RPQ. Whereas angle B and angle P they both are 90 degree. AB and RP they are equal. Now what additional information we, re we needed here that for RHS, we required right angles to be equal. That we have, that is angle B is equal to angle P. Then one of the side has to be equal. So that is also we have that AB equals to RP. Now one hypotenuse. Hence for hypotenuse. So hypotenuse has to be equal in both of this triangle. So it has to be AC equals to RQ. Then only this congruence will work. So as per. So here we need AC equals to RQ. And then only we can establish the congruence between these two triangles. Question number 3. In figure 7.33 BD and CE are altitude of triangle ABC such that BD equals to CE. So here BD and CE they both are equal. And we have to answer the three question. Let us take the first one. State three pairs of equal parts in CBD. So it is first triangle that CBD. And another triangle is BCE. So it is B, C and E. This is second triangle. So in these two triangles, we have to check that whether three parts are equal or not. So first, as they said that in triangle CBD and triangle BCE, BD equals to CE. And that is given into the question. That this line and this line is equal. Now D is right angle and E is right angle. So angle D equals to angle E as they both are 90 degree. Now one more line here is common that is this line that CB. CB equals to BC as it is common side in both of this triangle. So yes three parts are equal that this is a hypotenuse. This is a right angle and this is one of the sides. So as per RHS criteria, these both triangles are congruent with each other. So second question's answer is triangle CBD is in congruence with triangle BCE. So yes, as per 
RHS criteria they both are congruent. Now third question that is angle DCB equals to angle EBC or not? Why? So which angle we are talking about here? DCB. So DCB here we are talking about this angle and another angle we are talking about is DBC. So this angle. Are these two angles equal to each other or not? So yes, these two triangles are in congruence with each other. So corresponding parts are also equal to each other. So as per RHS criteria, these both triangles are equal. So corresponding parts are also equal. Question number four, ABC is an isosceles triangle with AB equals to AC. So AB and AC, these both are equal in this two triangle. So AD is an altitude. Now in isosceles triangle, the altitude itself will be a median. Median and altitude will be equal. That means BD is equal to DC here. AD is altitude. Now in isosceles triangle, median is the altitude. Now what is a median? Median is a line segment which starts from the vertex and it will join the opposite side's midpoint. So this D is a midpoint of BC. And that's why BD is equal to DC. And so D is the midpoint of BC. And that's why therefore BD equals to DC. Now we are starting to answer the question. Take the first question. State the three pairs of equal parts in triangle ADB and triangle ADC. So ADB is this triangle and ADC is this triangle. So in this first of all AD is equals to AD because it is a common side. Then angle ADC is equal to angle ADB because they both are 90 degree. Now AB is equals to AC and this is already given into the question. Now if we will see here this is our hypotenuse. This is one of the side and this is our right angle. So as per RHS this both triangle are congruent. So our second question is that yes triangle ADB and triangle ADC are congruent as per RHS criteria. Our third question that is angle B is equals to C or not. So angle B is equals to C or not that we have to check. So yes, if triangle ADB is congruent to triangle ADC, then corresponding parts are also equal. Fourth question. Is BD equals to CD or not? Yes, BD equals to CD because in isosceles triangle, the first reason is that I, in isosceles triangle, altitude is the median. That's why D is a midpoint of BC and that's why BD equals to CD. And other reason is because of the congruency of the triangle that this two Triangles are congruent with each other, so corresponding parts are equal. So from these two reason, any one reason you can write that because of congruency, these two lines are equal or because of the median is equal to altitude, that's why also these two lines are equal. So thank you for watching and learning with us. If you have any doubt, Please comment down below. I'll see you in next video. Till then keep learning, keep sharing and don't forget to subscribe, learn yourself.